Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. It is the 22nd of April, Sunday, and we have had、um, some stories that have just broken the last three hours that I want to talk about.、Uh, in addition, I have something kind of exciting. I have、um, found an analyzer that will、um, take a look at the Twitter sphere and it will provide some.、Uh, Bitcoin sentiment. So, I'm going to share that with you. And in addition to sharing、um, the Bitcoin sentiment,、uh, if you ever have a keyword you'd like me to analyze, just leave it in the comment section and I'll be sure to do it for you. All right. So, first story is fantastic. Look at this Bitcoin nears 9,000 as crypto buy orders compose 92% of market. Bull run imminent. Wow. So, For the first time since March 2017, buy orders now compose over 92% of market activity. Hot on the heels of a massive $120 billion recovery, the massive surge in buy orders heralds an impending bull market that could potentially exceed the monstrous late 2017 run up. I just love this story. I'm sure all of you do too.、Um, Uh, I think May is going to be just an amazing month. And、uh, the data from Turtle BC demonstrates that the cryptocurrency buy market percentage across the diverse range of coins, including Bitcoin, <clears throat> Ethereum, Ripple, Dash, NEM, and Money, is currently at a massive 92.86%, dwarfing the December 2018 high of 45%. So. Wow, I just say buckle your seatbelt because here we go. If we look at the market cap, we've added 30 billion in the last two days, and the BTC dominance is down to 39%. Well, actually, that's up because、um, it was、uh, a, about a percentage point lower yesterday. It's not the lowest we've seen. The lowest we saw was in December of last year and June of last year. Where it was 36 and 37% respectively. So we are a little bit moving in the red, not terribly and not surprisingly, because we've had such a strong couple of days that I think we're going to consolidate a little bit. Bitcoin is at a market cap of $150 billion. And yeah, I think, you know, currently at 8,800 and just 0.06% down, and then it's pulling some of the other、um, coins down with it. But you know, nothing here is really looking scary or worrisome. So I think we just let it do its thing and,、um, and just uh, uh, keep watching this market cap, which I think is one of the most important because we really need to see the volume.、Um, Increase if we're going to see these gains that everybody's talking about. Okay, I want to talk about a story that is a little bit troubling. Japan's cryptocurrency exchanges need tighter rules, says the Monex CEO. So, Monex is the company that bought the hacked coin check. And、uh, I don't like this story, and I'll tell you why.、Um, but let's just take a look at this. Japan's cryptocurrency exchanges should be regulated more like banks as they hold investors' assets while offering trading platforms, the chief executive of online brokerage Monex Group said.、Um, yeah, you know, I, I have been pretty neutral on the、um, regulation that's come in. Um, because we've had you know, some really bad management of、um, people's assets on the exchanges here. In, you know, of course, everybody knows about Mount, Mount Gox, and then we had sloppy work done by CoinCheck with the NEM coins.、Um, but Monex, Japan's number three online brokerage on Monday, completed the 3.6 billion yen or $33 million acquisition of CoinCheck, and the exchange. Was hit by the 530 million digital money heist in one of them,、um, in the most significant move yet by the major financial company into Japan's crypto sector. So we're really seeing some major players get involved in the exchanges and in mining. And I, I'm a little troubled with this because、um, 
of a news story that just came out about seven hours ago and here we have an updated report on that three hours ago and it's related to if we see these exchanges that are centralized and are going to start um, behaving like banks, um, it's going to be a little bit of trouble. So here, Coinbase reportedly shuts down WikiLeaks store and Assange calls for the boy for a boycott in response. So as you know, Julian Assange is um, at the helm of WikiLeaks. And I'm not saying that WikiLeaks is good or bad, but what I am concerned with is that he, they tried to cut him off financially um, by uh, Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and banks just refused to do business uh, with him. And so he moved into the cryptocurrency space to be able to fund his, his WikiLeaks website. And he had an online store that sold goods that um, gave uh, some revenue for him to operate. Um, now Coinbase is telling him that he can no longer do business with him. And I just think that this is not a good sign. And so when I see the connection between the Monex CEO that wants to regulate the exchanges in Japan, uh, like a bank, and then I see this kind of action, um, it's just a little worrisome because we are being too tightly, um, our options are being um, reduced in order to uh, operate freely in, in this world. So I, I just don't know about this and I just don't know how you feel about it. Please leave me a comment in the comment section if you'd like to um, tell me if you think this is a bad thing and are you, if you're with Coinbase, are you going to boycott uh, or do you just think that WikiLeaks has done a lot of damage and um, it, it, it's, it's a good thing. So I'm just curious as to what you have to say. All right, so now I want to share with you, take a look at this. This is the Twitter analyzer for yesterday the 21st. You have to remember I'm on the 22nd already. So this, these are the results that occurred across the Twitter sphere uh, with the keyword Bitcoin. And as you can see, it is quite positive. Um, let me explain this sentiment. So each tweet is shown as a circle positioned by sentiment. An estimate of the emotion contains in the tweet's text Unpleasant tweets are drawn as blue circles on the left. You can see there's just hardly any blue at all. And um, pleasant tweets as green circles on the right. Um, the tweets are drawn in darker circles on the top and active tweets are brighter circles, uh, are, are the brighter circles. So you can see there's a little bit of a shading difference. So we have, um, People are very excited and elated and happy and pleasant and um, content, serene, um, calm. Yeah, I think it's all leaning on the positive side and just very little on the unpleasant side where people feel upset, stressed, nervous, tense, or unhappy. So, yeah, I just think this is one of the factors in addition to TA, which is of course important, but the technical analysis is just one tiny slice of um, predicting where we're going with um, future price action. So this is, uh, I hope this is interesting for you and uh, I'm going to add this into the videos on a regular basis. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. and. Um, Please take care and sayonara for now. Bye-bye.